Welcome to Medicine Handy Points. Our topic for today's discussion is anemia in CKD patient. Chronic kidney disease is associated with anemia. So let's discuss this. Now, anemia in CKD is associated with increased mortality. So we definitely have to screen for all the newly diagnosed CKD, whether they are having anemia or not. Mostly it is the iron deficiency anemia and how it occurs, we'll discuss in, in some other lecture. Now, what is the deficiency of iron deficiency? What, sorry, what is the definition of iron deficiency anemia in CKD? It has a different definition. There are two uh, type of iron deficiency anemia. One is absolute iron deficiency, which is defined as ferritin less than 100 and transferrin saturation less than 20. It is absolute iron deficiency anemia. For hemodialysis patient, uh, the ferritin should be less than 200 to qualify as an iron deficiency anemia. So this is the one definition. Now the other definition is that ferritin is raised, but is raised while the transferrin saturation saturation transferrin saturation is less than 20 percent this is now called functional iron deficiency anemia and it is usually because of hepcidin which is released in chronic condition which prevent the body from using the stored form of ferritin so ferritin will be high raised while the transference situation will be low because the body is not able to use this ferritin. Now, anemia in CKD, we continue, it is usually recommended to start iron therapy in CKD patients stage 3 to 5 because they will definitely need iron. So the recommendation is oral iron is used initially However, it is switched to IV iron whenever the following situations appear. So what are the, the situation in which we will use uh, IV iron? If the oral iron is not working, despite three month trial, it is not working, we can switch it to IV. The patient cannot tolerate oral iron because Oral iron can cause sometimes anorexia, nausea, vomiting. So we can switch to IV iron. Uh, patient is getting erythropoietin for one or other reason. The erythropoietin should always be given with IV iron. And the last one, if the patient is not on dialysis, the oral iron will not work and the patient will need IV iron plus erythropoietin. Thank you for watching. I hope you like the video and please subscribe to the channel.